Good Saturday morning, March 16, Pinote Trail in Alabama. First day of youth um, turkey season here. So I got my orange pack cover on. Safety third, right? Uh, those, those videos, pictures, uh, I may switch them around, but they may show up before this video. But uh, that's where I spent the night last night at that beautiful waterfall and uh, great, great company. I uh, stayed there with uh, Chris and Tara from the great state of Alabama. Good people. A good time just sitting around the fire. First fire I've had. First fire I felt like building. And I uh, had a good time. So, on the trail at 7 o'clock this morning. Following this, uh, following this creek. Of course, you know, as much water, as much rains they've had here in the last six months. There's, water everywhere so I expect uh, I expect this part down here would be a uh, much much drier in a typical season make things a little bit tougher but man I, I mean there's just no shortage of water it's, it's everywhere all right, well, I hope everybody's having a great Saturday. Uh, find something interesting. I'll, I'll turn the camera on later. All right, peace out. Alabama, running up another view this morning. It's a little windy up here, a little bit cool. So we're going to get those. This is just up the hill from where I was at just now. Same view, so a little bit better maybe. Hey, Alabama's starting to bring the views, man. Yeah, gorgeous. Hey, all right. Yeah, good Sunday morning, March 17th. Pretty chilly night last night. Uh, really chilly. I don't. <laughs> I was a little surprised when I got up this morning. Checked my thermometer. It said like 38 degrees or something. Uh, but anyway, uh, as you can see, first time in several days we actually have sunshine. I'm sure it's gonna get. Much warmer today. Going to Chiha State Forest today. Get me a hot meal, I hope. And uh, I don't know, maybe even a, I don't know, at least a hot meal. And I gotta get a little bit of food to, to get me to half one. And uh, next stop is uh, half one. Been traveling. Been traveling last. Well, there was a guy signed to register at Flag Mountain uh, two days before I did, and uh, thought it was pretty cool. His, uh, I may have even mentioned it. He signed to register. Cancer treatments done. Going hiking. Semicolon. But this guy's this guy's got an awesome story. So I actually ran into him 
ran in him last Monday. <laughs> that was when I was getting, no, Tuesday. When did I get off the trail? Sunday, maybe. Tuesday, Tuesday. Uh, just as I was getting ready to get off the trail to get picked up to get taken in town to go to the doctor, I came up on him and we walked together for about 100 yards or so. And then he ended up, he was at the hostel the second night. So, got to uh, got to meet him and, and get to know him. And, and then, uh, uh, we both started, you know, he started back on the trail yesterday. And we actually ended up at the same camp spot last night. So, got to visit some more. So a really cool guy. And uh, oh, I think we got the same plans for today. Uh, he's probably pretty far behind, but we're gonna go to Chiha and get something to eat. And go to that same shelter tonight. And then we'll see from there. So anyhow, hope you are having a great Sunday. I am. Boy, I tell you what, this view was well earned this morning. Holy moly, you wouldn't believe that rock scramble coming up there. Crazy. We're already in the state park. We're in Chiha State Park. Alabama. Been per picked pretty clean over the years. I think been here for a long, long time. McDeals or McDeal Overlook. I believe I'm in the Chiha. Over there, that's where it came from. And that, tell him, I don't know if you can see them rocks. I think the trails, the trails like over in there, about a third of the way down the, about a third of the way down the uh, side of the hill there. All them rocks, that's what I've been walking in for two straight days far as you can see. It's been awesome. <laughs> been tough going for this. Okay. Alright. See y'all later. Alright. Good Monday morning. March 18. Beautiful. Beautiful Monday morning it is here in Alabama. Stayed last night at the Blue Mountain Shelter. A uh, really nice shelter. No mice. Didn't didn't hear, see a single mouse. Uh, just about the time I was going to sleep last night, there was something scratching and clawing and chewing on the shelter. I don't know what it was. I smacked it. It was underneath, I think. I smacked the floor of the shelter and it went away. I never heard it. Never heard nothing the rest of the night. So. The first time I think I ever stayed in a shelter and didn't have to fight mice on that one. So that was that was awesome. Oh, oh I don't know where we're going today. 
Uh, haven't even looked. Just walking. Still gonna shoot for around 20 miles. Hopefully the train will be more like this today. That's what you're seeing right now. And I can uh, move a little faster. Oh, the uh, Still not a lot of, I mean, I've seen a lot of people on this trail, but I mean, a lot compared to some of the other trails, no. Uh, that log book in that shelter, been there for, I think three years, and there might be, there might be, I don't know, maybe, 40 entries oh, in that log book oh, right now on the Appalachian Trail heck they're probably having to switch out log books every month <laughs> uh, yeah I don't know feeling pretty good today a little chilly again this morning. Hard to crawl out of sleeping bag. I uh, actually had my alarm set for six. And woke up, and turned the alarm off, put my headlight on, my headlamp on, getting ready to get out of bed. Next thing I know, it's quarter to seven. <laughs> so wasted, uh, wasted 45 minutes. Of, battery on the headlamp this morning but by the time I finally decided to roll out I didn't need the headlamp anymore so. All right. well oh I guess I've I guess I've dropped semicolon I think I've mentioned him guy that I was kind of hiking around for a few days uh, I think he stopped oh we texted last night I think he stopped like seven or eight miles behind me last night so uh, probably the last I'll see a semicolon happy trails to you bud so well, I ain't got nothing to say. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna shut up and let you walk for a few minutes, and I'll cut this thing off. switching hands cool little valley I'm walking through this morning flowers coming up spring is getting ready to spring here in southern Alabama Central Alabama, where I'm at now. On Alabama. Roll tide, right? Just cool valley. Assuming I'm just going to keep winding down through it. Not so crazy. Man, just don't get no better than that. Happy Monday morning, everybody. Well, see that little stick right there? Looks like nothing, right? Well, when you're walking along, not paying no attention, there's the aftermath. <laughs> there's, there's, where I, there's where I stopped. 
fall down with the pack on. Those old guys can't get up. You got to get out of the pack. So, anyway, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> get up, dust the leaves, litter off of us, and there we go. But this is a popular spot in the summertime with the locals. I think my lens is fogged over here. Huh? That better? It ain't 50 yards off the road. I imagine it uh, probably gets uh, pretty busy here. I know I'd, I'd be hearing something. Oh, yeah. Yesterday. Funniest thing. Um, I meant to record this last night. It just slipped my mind. But is that... Uh, Chee Hall State Park. I just went in the store, bought me a couple days worth of breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And basically, just a convenience store type thing. And I uh, was out on a picnic table, kind of behind the store, probably where the employees take their smoke break. And uh, I was getting my food package back up and this guy came he, he gets parks in the car and he's taking a shortcut into the store and he's like he spoke I, said, I spoke he said is that expensive or no no the first thing he asked he said how far have you walked I said oh I don't know about 90 miles he said, man, he said, is that expensive? I'm like, well, I mean, uh, yeah, the, the gear can be a little bit pricey and stuff for, you know, if you want good quality light. He's like, no, no, I mean the food. I'm like, what? He said, well, what do you figure your, your price per mile is? And I'm like, I never, I never in my life heard of anybody asking a, asking a hiker what kind of fuel mileage you got. <laughs> ah, ah. Hey, the guy, I'm glad he walked off because, I mean, I just, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> yeah, so. All you hikers out there, what kind of fuel mileage you getting, huh? Think about that one. <laughs> All right, I gotta walk. That's what I'm talking about, Alabama. Brought you a game. Didn't you? Thank you. This is a different waterfall. Probably 200 yards past that other waterfall. Completely different hollow. So, way to go, Alabama. Good job. Alright, good morning. Tuesday morning, March 19th. Going into Heflin this morning. And if anybody's wondering, no, those are not telephone poles. Those are lodgepole pines. That's where telephone poles come from. Uh, apparently, there was a wind came through here that really did not like these lodgepole pines. <laughs> I'll tell you. I mean, you spend you spend any time on these trails, and uh, I mean, and uh, a little over 100 miles on this trail alone, I have literally seen, I mean, thousands, thousands of trees blown down. You would to just look at the number of trees that blow down in the woods, you would think it's 
for every two people that ever step foot in the woods, one of them would get squashed by a tree, you know? Because I've been out here when the you know, winds and storms and stuff come through. I've had trees, I've had big trees fall in the middle of the night. You know, not on me, of course, but I mean, close enough to hear them very vividly, <laughs> like last year. Oh, anyhow, going into Heflin, Alabama this morning, or it's probably about lunchtime, I hope. Uh, seven miles of trail and three miles of spur trail to get to Heflin. And, uh, gonna get me a, probably gonna spend the night there tonight and do uh, get me a shower and uh, do my laundry. I think I probably need to do laundry. I think I probably don't need a good shower. I'm pretty sure I don't smell very good. And uh, get some food and uh, carry on. All right. As you can see, it's a beautiful morning here. Uh, cool. It's about 30 degrees this morning, according to my thermometer, which I don't totally trust. But uh, it was chilly. It's hard to, hard to throw a sleeping bag back in the mornings when it's like that. Matter of fact, I cut the alarm off again this morning and laid there for another hour. <laughs> but, uh, oh well. Hey, bad day in the, on the trail is better than a good day at work, right? Alright, y'all have a great day. Catch you later. This is cool. Check this out. Anybody would have made it. I have to assume it was natural. 